Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with the sequence repetitions and random numbers in a NumPy. So sequence is like you are generating a list of the numbers. A repetition is like you are repeating a set of numbers to generate an NumPy array. We will first see here arrange. So arrange function is used to get the evenly spaced values within a given range. For example, if I say here arrange and you specify here values inside arrange like 1 comma 5, it is gonna give us all right, uh, it is going to be the np dot arrange here. So np dot arrange here that should be a r it's like this so the np dot a range that means it is going to give us an array a range array so 1 to 5 that's mean it is going to give us a value between 1 to 5 a uh, evenly spaced value and this last value will be ignored here 1, 2, 3, 4 is included there. Similarly, if I say here 11, then you will get a value from 1 to 10. Similarly, you can define here a data type to get your values. I say here integer or I say here a float. So, if it is a float, you will be getting here a float. Otherwise, you can say here str seems like str is not available there but yes for float it works there but if you are not satisfied with this range of values you can also specify here the steps in which you want to generate so the third parameter defines here the steps which you need to do here if i give one then it is going to give us the same result what we got earlier the reason is here Step 1, that's mean it is going to keep the difference between these two consecutive number as 1. But if I say here 2, it is going to keep the difference between these two consecutive number as the 2. So it starts from the 1 and plus 2 is the 3 plus plus 2 plus 2. And if it add 9 plus 2, then it becomes 11. But as we know that, this does not include 11, that's why we are not seeing 11 here. Similarly, you can put here a 5 as well. So, you will be seeing here 1 and 6 only or whatever the numbers you put there accordingly, you will be getting here a range of values there. The another function which we are going to see here, lin space. A lin space is linearly spaced values. Again, in this we define there numbers between starting and end numbers and then we say that how many numbers we want i'll tell you the difference for example if i ask you to generate if, if i ask you to just change this uh, range to uh, lean space then uh, see what happens here you know we it, it, by definition it seems lean space and a range is same but actually these are not the difference is here if you define here a 5 that's mean it is going to generate values between these two values but the difference between these two consecutive value will be 5 but in but in lean space it is going to generate a value between these two and it will include the last value and another difference is here this one so here we define that how many values we want earlier we were saying that what should be the difference between two consecutive number but here we are saying that how many numbers we want i said that i want a five so this line of code gave me a five number one two three four and five and then these numbers are evenly spaced another difference between these two are here you can control the difference between consecutive numbers. That's mean the gap between the consecutive number. But you cannot control how many numbers you want. In a linear space, you can control how many numbers you want. That's mean the size of array. You can control. 
but you cannot control the differences between these two values that's the major difference here if you say here a 50 you are gonna get here a 50 values between 1 to 11 are uh, evenly spaced values uh, similarly if you put here int now you will be seeing there all the float values got converted into a integer numbers there all right let's go ahead and see how we can use the random so for a random we need to import random first of all and then we can generate the random values import random all right or from numpy import random so the both works in the same way all right so i'm just going to remove that one i got here a random now you put there a random and then you hit here shift and double tab you get the defi definition of the random so it says that the random number generation and it takes here it says that these are actually generator that's been the algorithm which generates the random numbers and then finally you come to the end of this somewhere here you see that these are the apis available into uh, random like rand rand n these are uniformly distributed values a normally distributed value uniformly distributed floating point numbers or something like that so all these are available here these are the distributions which you can generate by using the random numbers into a numpy there all right so for example if i say here like random 1 to 10 all right okay random dot rand int actually so it is going to give us the random numbers between these two values 1 to 10 every time i run it all these values will be in between 1 to 10 if i give here 1000 there is the probability that you will be getting the values between 1000 to this the sometimes you may ask that how would you get the float values so like let's say if you want to the float values a random float values between 1 to 1000 you can simply either divide it by 100 you will start getting here a random float values similarly you can get the normal distributions or uniform distributions as i said earlier let's go ahead and see the other functions like range function then zeros and ones functions we will evaluate here in the range function range is something where you say that what is the range you want between these two so this range is like a range all right so earlier we saw this one this range is also in the same way but here it does not return any array because this one is not the array of range this is just a iterator there a range if you want this as the array then you put here np dot array it's something like this so the, in the similar fashion you will start getting a range and range in the same way so earlier a range was like the array of a range there let's go ahead and see a zeros there again np dot zeros so this comes into the definition of repetition there was the generation and the repetition so the repetition is something i'm saying that generate a list of zeros which i defined here rows and column so it says that there is one row and five column there is the two row and five column and here it is a five row and five column one two three four five one two three four five all right so it has total five rows and five columns that's the g rows there similarly you can do with the ones as well like np dot ones here if you define here only one it's going to give you a one dimensional array if you define here a five it is going to give you a one dimensional uh, array a length of five similarly if you say here five cross five a two dimensional array 
but again if you make it something like this it is going to give you a three dimensional array you can check the shape of generated array it says that five cross five and there is the four all right perfect in the last one which we are gonna see here uh, quickly np dot tile and np dot repeat let's say you have here np dot tile in this i have these values and i want to repeat these similar values multiple times so here i say here two that means the similar value will be repeated two times if i say here a 20 it the similar value will be concatenated a 20 times here in one dimensional array there all right similarly there is np dot repeat there so this repeat also does the same thing here but the difference is here tile takes this whole value and then concatenate this whole value as many as number you provided here but in case of repeat it is a little uh, different in case of repeat it repeats these numbers as many times you define it here that means this repeat one two times at this place itself and then two two times at this place and three at this place for example, if you give here a 20, so this 1 will be replaced 20 times first and then 2 will be replaced 20 times first and then 3. That's the major difference between repeat and tile. Alright, so this is all about in this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching this. I'll see you next one.